Hey guys, welcome back. This is Storm, and this is going to be a quick episode to talk about the particle command. It's been a while since I've made one of these command based videos, but I figured why not? Let's get straight into the commands and we'll take a look at what we've got in store. So let's just type ourselves in here particle. Let's look at the syntax. So we've got ourselves the names, so that is the particle name we want to play, the location, so the x, y, and z. xd, yd, zd is the spawnable area for the particle effects, so the bigger the distance, there that the greater the spawn area for the particle. If you just leave the numbers there as zero, uh, then it will just spawn directly into the, the X, Y, Z uh, coordinates that you define. We've got ourselves the speed. That's how fast you want the particle effect to be played. So there has to be a value greater than zero. Uh, so you can't make it really slow. You can't slow something down, but you can make it really fast by putting in a larger number. Um, these next two arguments are optional. So that is the count. So the number of times that you want the particle effect to be played then mode and what mode allows you to do is to override a player's default uh, settings for whether or not they should be showing particle effects so for example if we look here we've got ourselves some mob spells showing off over this particular block and at the moment if we go and look at my video settings now go to particles I've got all but if I put this down to minimal oh no all the particle effects are gone so what we can do is we can come over to this is the command block that is generating those particle effects we've got ourselves the mob spell particle that we're showing and let's just type in here force. So this is the mode. And what will happen now is we can start to see it. We can see the particle effects being applied, even though we've got our video settings showing uh, minimal particles. So that's pretty cool. It's uh, one way to overwrite um, yeah, a player's ability to whether or not they want to hide particles. So that's particularly good for um, multiplayer servers. So let's think about some other practical uses. How can we um, muck around with the particle effects. What can we do with it? So let's look at it just a couple examples. So that was the mob spell example where we're just showing the mob spell particle and we can obviously define uh, the location wherever we want. So here I was using a particular location that those coordinates there is right where this block is. So that's how we were seeing the mob spell particles right here. If we go and look at this command block, I've got ourselves, does that look familiar? <laughs> so that is the guardian um, mob that uh, yeah, that little overlay you get when you go to a guardian farm or a guardian temple and um, yeah you can just play that back by using the i think it's the there yeah, the mob appearance is the the particle effect name so i'll put all the details in the examples that i'm using here in this video in the description so you can check those out um, but let's look at some other examples so this is another cool example where let's just open up this chest it's full of cake but hey did you see those love hearts that came out when I opened it so there you go you can see the love hearts that open up when I um yeah open up the chest that's because I've got a command block down here let's take a look at the command so I'm just showing the heart particle every time uh, this command block gets powered and because um, I'm using a trap chest here every time I open this it sends a redstone signal to the um, uh, to the command block and that's why we see ourselves the uh, particle effect so that's a pretty cool way to simple way to make a particle around uh, something like an object like this um, but yeah that's that's pretty cool so what other examples can we do so we were using here this is just got a simple a redstone circuit um, which is generating a constant pulse to this command block and that's how we were originally showing all those mob spells so let's just think of what other mob spells or what other particle effects there are um, one of them is, let's do this, Happy Villager. So this is a particular um, a particle effect, and you should recognize these. This is pretty cool. This is just a nice way to, to show, I don't know, a positive area on your map or something you might want to use. I really like those color combinations, actually, with that block, but um, that's secondary. Um, what else can we do? Let's look at another example. So let's just type ourselves in in a command. Here I'm going to show the enchantment table effect. Now you can't really see it because I played it exactly where I was standing. So let's stick it into this command block. So let's just do that. So I'm going to show the enchantment table effect just one time. So it's not very easy to see. Let's crank it up. Let's show it a thousand times. Now let's um, play this thing. <laughs> there we go. We've got ourselves a constant loop of this like little vortex suction thing of all these uh, little characters flying into one location. If I were to stand in here... It looks kind of trippy, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, pretty interesting. So, yeah, that's a couple of quick examples. Now, there's some other things you can do with the uh, the particle command if you wanted to merge it with some other commands. So, one example is to use the execute command. So, let's go and look at a couple of examples here. So, if I were to try and put in a command to maybe, 
let's just show some kind of command where every time there's a bat that's visible in the area, I'm going to show the angry villager um, particle effect. So that's the, the, uh, the thunderstorm cloud looking thing. So all I need to do is spawn in some bats. So I think I've got some bats over in this chest. Here we go. So let's throw down some bats. Hmm. Why isn't that working? <laughs> let's take a look at the command. So we've got ourselves... It is executing. So let's look at the command. We're doing execute for all bats uh, at any location. And we're going to... Sh oh, here we go. Ah. So, I need to change this to be Particle, there we go, and now this should work. Ah, there we go, <laughs> Debugging 101. So look at this, we've got ourselves some angry flying bats are all around the place, and this will be dynamic, so every time I add a bat into the world, it's going to be generating these particle effects around the bat. Um, so it's a little bit silly, a little bit funny, um, but you can obviously experiment around with this and um, have a lot of fun. So, that's pretty much it. Make sure you check out my command block playlist. Um, I have a lot, a lot of commands and other things in that particular play playlist that you might want to check out and have fun with. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. All right. Thanks for sticking around. Have fun playing with these commands and I'll see you guys in the next episode. All right. See you guys. Cheers.